many guys that are in their 30s that just sit there and go, look at my wall of board game. What are we doing? Okay. Take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Board games, when it comes to adults, they create these competitions among friends, okay? They get too heated, nobody talks to each other, and in the end, truly, none of it matters. I love board games because they're awesome. I am pro board games because what are you going to do when the power goes out? What are your options? You can stare in a mirror. Weird. You could start knitting, but what if you weren't knitting before? You're suddenly gonna learn, right? You don't wanna do that. You're gonna play a board game with your family and have a nice, pleasant time together. We have to go to the apocalypse to, have to play a fucking board game? First of all, if there's a power outage, I'm gonna be going, uh, when's the power coming back? My whole family will be panicking, okay? Knowing my family as well as I do, okay. all right? Board games, uh, for lack of a better word, they're so boring. They are boring. There's only one game that I sort of liked and it was sort of short, it was called Mancala. <laughs> what? Is that what it's called? It's called Mancala. It goes- I love Mancala! I love Mancala. <laughs> I actually have a scientist who can back me up. Actually, I don't think he's a scientist, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> His name is Don Vaughn, and here's what he says about boredom. Boredom arises from a lack of engagement, which translates to having nothing at stake. You know what has nothing at stake? Uno! It takes four million hours, and everyone gets so into it, yes. and they're so focused, and it gets competitive, and then people start arguing, and I'm sitting here going, can somebody just get me another beer? You know what I heard from all that? You said everyone gets involved, and who's everyone? Your family, who you love and trust. My brother and I, for example, every holiday season we get together and we play Trouble, because it's fun. And sure, do we annoy everyone in the house? It's a very loud game. We play like the new modern version where you click the, click the dice. Oh, yeah, this. it's great, it's amazing. And it's literally a tradition we've done for years and years and years, and we have a great time together. I'm choosing to spend time and socialize. Now I got a battleship board up in front of my face. First of all, it's a holiday. How often are you seeing your brother? I know where your brother lives. You're not seeing him so often, okay? I know this. He lives in Bulgaria for the folks watching at home. <laughs> and all right, and, and then you're playing a game? I don't mean to attack you. I'm sorry, sometimes you don't brother. want to talk. <laughs> You know people bring, bring games to bars? I love that. I think it's so fun. It's fun, it's communal. Everyone's gathered together. No one's on their phone. Talk to me. <laughs> like it's coming from a real place. I'm, don't ask me to play a board game. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go, no, I don't wanna play. I wanna talk to you. We're at a beer garden, Jesus. Can I ask you a question? Do you not love silence? Is there anything better than silence? Can I, first of just, all. Let's just practice it for a second. We need to be speaking. And if you're gonna trap me besides a fucking solid, what is this? A little, a little That looks like a little. dice. Okay, now it looks like a card. It's cards. Okay. What if you hang out with the same friends all the time and you have nothing left to talk about? What are you gonna do? You're gonna play a game. And maybe that game can inspire a new conversation. It makes me feel bad about myself. <sighs> I can't follow the rules of time. Why don't you play Go Fish? It has one rule. To Go Fish? Yeah. What is that game again? <laughs> okay, you know what one is not fun? Big Jenga. That's stressful. Big Jenga should be illegal. You're in a bar, you're drunk, or you're, or you're, or you're imbibing. Is that a word? You're imbibing. That's what you're doing, and all of a sudden it falls, and you're like, you're like, should I be running? It sounds like someone smashed glass on the floor. Absolutely. It smells, yeah. I love it when smells like it. glass. It smells like glass, it smells like beer. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. I can see we're having a discrepancy based on the way that we were raised, okay? And sure. I'm, ready to, I'm ready to buckle down with how I was raised. You were raised, it seems, in a game family. I was raised in a family that, that does nothing. Uh, <laughs> now that we're trying to, what, recreate nostalgia, I understand nostalgia, I get sure. it, I get that feeling. But you know, if we wanna, if we wanna recreate nostalgia, uh, I'll watch Clueless. Can I tell you something? Yeah. They're coming out with a Ms. Monopoly. And guess what that Ms. Monopoly is doing, okay? The woman starts off with more money than the man at the go line. Wait a second. <laughs> so you're telling me the only way we can get equal pay is through a board game? And what I'm telling you is that it's inspiring young women to achieve their dreams. 
The game starts female players off with more money than men and pays them more for passing go. And players have the opportunity to purchase groundbreaking inventions and innovations made possible by women throughout history. Wow, I should have just played Ms. Monopoly instead of minoring in women's studies, which I did. I got a degree, I don't need a game. So once again, don't make me play your stupid board game when we're hanging out with each other and we can get to know each other better, okay? You get too heated and I'm bored. In conclusion, board games are the best. If you like board games like I do, comment below, okay? Comment all your favorite board games and then we can be friends. Ooh, look at my papers. Okay, Ooh, yeah, you just okay. love science. Board games are the best. Who did it? Was it Colonel Mustard? I bet it was. That dirty.